guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Patera with you today. Quick video, look here. A few little things are coming up. You know why? Look here. Because my chickens have scratched away stuff, so it's time to come in here and pick and smother it out a little bit, right? And look, they even dug that up. Okay, here is what I wanna show you right here. This is my back to Eden garden. This is, and I'm even gonna come around this side, the large cattle panel trellis. We've already done a video on this. However, I am getting a ton of questions on one particular aspect of this setup, okay? And the main question is, if you take the 16-foot cattle panel, okay, which we have set up through here, and clearly you can see we've attached it to one, two, arched three four t posts okay so many people want to know how big is the area from here to there i have measured mine now listen you have to understand you can make that vary how you need to you can make it a little bit mush it in a little bit i wouldn't go any wider to be honest with you this is probably the widest around the widest I would make that depth. From here to here is approximately 78 inches. Okay, 78 inches. So off the top of my head, I was somewhere in the ballpark. I was like, I don't know, maybe four feet or so like that. It's lar larger than that. And that's really good because a lot of folks, they're wanting to trellis, okay? And then they're wanting to try to see if they can plant underneath. I don't, I have never planted underneath, not because I have something against it or whatever. It's just I have not done that. Uh, I certainly think that you could. So uh, you can clearly see we're working out here, letting the chickens work out here, pulling the plastic over because I don't want it to kill my grass. So that's that black nine mil uh, hard plastic that you can see right up here. So I've pulled it over in here for now. It doesn't matter if it gets wet. I just don't want it to kill my grass because we're, we're getting some rain. So just wanted to answer this question. Now I will tell you, folks are asking me, should I plant peas on this or should I plant green beans? I have only planted green beans on this particular type of arch because the green beans beautifully take up. Well, you can see, look here. I mean, clearly you had the vinery coming up from both sides and wrapping from both sides so it would make it would just cover the arch you've seen this in my pictures you've seen this in videos my peas however do not tend to get quite that tall my peas tend to be trellised over here on five foot horse fencing and they do come up to the top but I'm not sure of how much of an arch it would make. Nonetheless, it's gonna work great for you regardless. But I use mine particularly for Kentucky Wonder and Missouri Wonder green beans. They've worked beautifully in both spots. And it was very convenient to come in and just pick a green bean, pick some green beans, pick some green beans. So for those of you that are wanting to know the span that I have, whether you wanna put a cool season crop under there that can take more shade, I'm at around 78 inches, and again, your cattle panels are 16 feet in span. And as far as their height this way, you're looking at 50 inches, okay? That's why I go with those. And oh my goodness, it wouldn't be a video without this fella. Tell everybody bye. Where are you going? Are you going down here with Opal? Miss Opal. Mm-hmm. We see the mess you're making. Thank you. All right, guys, if you like this video, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. We appreciate you watching. We're wanting to really kind of get your ideas and juices flowing for the spring season that's about to kick in. Of course, I encourage you to check out Baker Creek Heirloom and all of their seeds, so many wonderful seeds from them. We will see you at the great Appalachian Homesteading Conference with all of our homesteading friends, guys. It's going to be awesome. I'm telling you. So much is going on. It's going to be mind-blowing. Check that out on Facebook as well. And Eventbrite tickets are selling like crazy. I'm not joking when I tell you that. You know, we, we're excited and everyone's excited. So we will see you on May the 6th. I hope this helped you out, answers a lot of questions that I'm getting. This is one of those popular questions I'm getting right now. And I didn't address it in my Q&A, so I hope I got you here. We will talk to you soon.